today is the day we're trying it out. We're going to try and use the holes and replace uh, this guy. As you see. Oh, and they're like, I don't know. Can you see he's leaking there? He's leaking pretty good. It's all greasy and stuff. And then this guy, he gets all soaked. It's like a material that gets all soaked. It doesn't really show that it's wet with the oil, but uh, then it'll drip down the side of the block and cause other things to start leaking. Or look like they're leaking. So, uh, yeah, if uh, any of this stuff is confusing you, you're just uh, in the wrong place at the wrong time. So, like, replacing that line, it's, uh, I think it's pretty easy. If not, like, oh man, I'm going to be here longer than uh, expected, so you're going to get some sockets and untwist a couple of these things and just yank it right out of there. Okay, so now we are in the belly of the beast. All we did was remove this little box and we poked our heads in there. So this is the alternator, right? And then just past the alternator, we're gonna see this clip we're gonna undo to give us a little bit more room. You can move the power steering uh, jug if you want, but you don't really need to. There's two 13 millimeters, so that's just gonna take up a little bit more time. So first, you wanna undo this 19 millimeter. You know, you get yourself a nice quality wrench for that. You don't wanna strip that bolt because you don't wanna reuse it. And you, before you start this endeavor, you're going to want four seals to unclip uh, this doohickey. I think that's a temp sensor or whatever. And then uh, you're just going to go and reach in right back there with your wrench. But you're going you're gonna to take this pathway down here and you're just going to crack it free. And then it it's, shouldn't be too rusty because it's like an oil passage, right? Like, um, also, if you're at home in the laneway, you know, uh, make sure you have like a rag before you just like start opening lines like these because right? see like the oil it's just gonna start to come out see this guy's sweat you also want to let the cars sit too you know before just ripping stuff out see look at that She's a, she's a bit of a dripper, but that's not too bad. No. Come on. So uh, you're going to want to repeat, uh, you know, with the rag procedure down in the bottom. Uh, I don't have a film crew from Discovery Channel, so uh, I can't really show you anything down there, and it's just going to be a mess. Okay, so after about, like, maybe five minutes... 10 minutes, 20 minutes of wrestling, depends how long it takes you. You'll be able to have undone the bottom guy and then just be able to pull that sucker out. And now we're just gonna look at this guy versus the one we just made the other day. They kind of look like uh, brothers. And then, guess what? This guy can turn into one of those guys and maybe go to one of you guys one day if you wanna do this endeavor. Anyways, so uh, we're just going to slide that guy in after we tighten the hose clamps, once we know their orientations in comparison to this guy. Pro tip of the day, uh, get the seals for the banjo bolts out of your pocket before your hands get greasy, because it's not good. That's not good. The, no, laundry machine's not going to like that. So when it comes to bolting the, these lines back in, what you're going to want to do is uh, try to do this with both hands, but I'm going to try and film and do this. You want to put one seal on this guy, slide it in, okay, and then get him in there, and then put the next seal on him, and then thread it in, so that you're going to have, and make sure that these are new seals. Don't do what the old guy did for me and uh, just flip them over, because they're just gonna leak. You just wanna use a new one, you know? So once you get the thread started, like three, four turns, just leave it loose like that, and then get the bottom one nice and tight, and then come and tighten this guy. Okay, so here's the tough part, too. You're gonna wanna have a snow brush from leftover winter, and you're gonna wanna be able to get the washer that you dropped on the ground over there. Because uh, it's a tough, it, it's, it's honestly tough to get the, the banjo bolt on the bottom two seals. It's really tough. Note to self, bring spares just in case. Um, 
so you can see that the the bottom one is right there it's nice and tight uh, having quality tools helps but the old-fashioned wrench uh, did do the job better in the end than this guy so that's cool um, but yeah just uh, finger tight always uh, does a lot of work too in those tight to reach places when you can't get a, a straight line you know other than uh, just a little bit of a uh, uh, you know that's just enough with these guys and then you flip it over and you get those two sides you know and like you want to remember that these banjo bolts are uh, are steel and the other components that they're going into are aluminum so you want to be uh, fairly gentle with that kind of stuff also helps um, if you guys remember the screwdriver exploded on me um, it wasn't on footage but it happened um, some droppage may have occurred but that won't stop us from getting the job done here make sure you plug the stuff yeah unplugged back in see better then pop this guy back in of course and then uh, plug that thing back in and screw that thing down and start that thing up and look at the oil pressure like go red and then turn off and then you're okay uh, let's go do that just a final look before uh, we go back in make sure you don't leave anything under the hood make sure you look at what you put in there you know give, you, give yourself a pat on the back and go in there and start it up all right so here we go so look at the oil can light up there and to the right red and then he's gone look at that and maybe if your oil level sensor is bad the oil can light will turn on for a couple seconds and uh, it'll spoil your day. No leaks, that's a good sign, and uh, I'll see you some other time.